Hi, my name is Laura Neighbors, and I'm a freshman at the University of Oregon. Today I'm going to be making something of my extensive collection of broken, water-damaged, and or glitchy cell phones. We all have them. They all suck. So there's this one website called Instructables.com, and it is a fatty do-it-yourself project website, and that's where I got my idea to do my project on cell phones. So today we're pretty much going to be focusing on cell phones with water damage because I have the most of that. Seriously, I've gone through like five cell phones this year, three of them which have water damage on it. So my plan is to revive the two phones that I have that have the quote unquote water damage seal, which can be found either on the back of your phone or the back of the battery depending on the phone. <laughs> Okay guys, moment of truth here. Pressing on the power button. Fail. Okay, let's see if this one works. Once again, pressing down the power key and nothing's happening. Okay, next method. So, as you can probably imagine, these things still don't work after putting them under a hairdryer and in the freezer. So I think the problem is not really with the phone, but it's with the battery, and I don't want to buy another battery for this phone. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to take um, one of these little, the thing that makes it vi the phone vibrate, like, into a mouse, because I blew my computer up the other day, so now I have, like, two extra... My, so I still think that the phone companies are conspiring against me and they just don't want me to have a working phone. Okay, so I've been going at this stupid mouse for like two hours, and I have not found a successful way to open it up without breaking it. And look, I broke it. So, um, I guess that's kind of out of the question. Um, yeah, and then this seems like really, really, really hard to take apart. And, yeah. So, I'm going to take a nap, because I am freaking tired from two hours of trying to break this mouse part. My hands hurt. Anyway. So, I was thinking that I had a question, you know, with the phones that I tried to revive, you know, because um, these phones that I've tried to revive, they have been, you know, damaged with water for over, this one is almost a year, and the other one was, um three or four months. But anyway, um, yeah, I just thought that maybe if I were to test it on another phone that actually works, this is a $20 Go phone from Walmart, for example. I have this, and it's a piece of crap. Don't buy it. But, um, yeah, I was thinking that maybe if I dunked it in water and gave it water damage and then try to revive it right now, then maybe it'll work. So, I can't believe I'm actually doing this, like, intentionally breaking a phone, but let's see what happens. So, I've learned a lot from this project, mainly to check all the possibilities that could happen, because I was just going to give up on the whole um, putting it under the hairdryer, putting it in the fridge idea, until I thought, well, maybe it's because I've had those phones forever, and they've had water damage forever. So, um, I tried a phone that actually worked, and those methods, methods actually work, and it... Uh, just depends on how long you've had water in the phone and how much water you put in the phone. Old fashioned world. 